Okay, so we're here at the OT with uh, New Jersey Nets point guard Devin Harris. And uh, Devin, can you just tell us what you're doing in London? Uh, today we are celebrating the tickets going on sale for our regular season games here in March. And uh, you know, we're excited about playing over here in London. It's the first regular season games that ever be played here. And um, you know, so it's a bit of a celebration. And as you said, it's the first time an NBA game in a regular season is going to be played in London. It's obviously a big experience. Are you glad that the Nets managed to, to get that? I, I am glad. I, I think it's, uh, you know, being one of the teams that's, that's being owned by a, by a, foreign, uh, a foreigner, I think you know, it's, it's huge for us to, to establish ourselves as a, more of a global icon. I think we're doing the right steps in, in playing you know, games you know, where we can be seen by, by different countries. I mean, obviously, you came to London a couple of years ago. Um, do you reckon the rest of the players are looking forward to coming over here and experiencing uh, playing a game? I think so. I think you know it, it's exciting. It's not, it's you know out of ordinary for us. You know, we used to regular season. We used to being in this uh, sort of uh, routine. You know, you know games here, games here. And I think you know right after the All Star break, it'll be something new for us. And uh, I think guys are excited about it. I mean, obviously, you fly all over the country anyway to sort of go to games. I mean, this is obviously a bit of a different experience it coming is, all the way to is. London. But do you think that will affect you at all, having to come all the way over? Uh, I think, you know, the time in between uh, just being off, obviously, the All-Star game, having those three days or four days off that we have, I think that'll be enough rest for us to recover from the time change and be able to play effectively. And obviously, you were working with the kids earlier. Um, what did you make of uh, some of the talent of the youngsters? Uh, they're, they're, they're very talented. They're fundamentally, uh, we had a couple guys catching lobs and stuff. So, I mean, it, you know, they're excited about the game and you know, it looks like they're headed in the right direction. And basketball is still quite a growing sport in England. Um, do you think having a game, an NBA game actually being played in London, that might sort of kick on and get lots more kids I, playing the game? I think so. I think, you know, it's, uh, it's different than watching on TV. We actually can see it in person, up close and personal. And I think, you know, see the players and, and you know, kind of interact with them. I think that you know, increases the curiosity as well as uh, gets them more excited about the game. And Team GB started, uh, they've just had their Eurobasket qualifying campaign, have done quite well, got the likes of Luel Deng. Apparently Ben Gordon might be coming over and playing for us as well. Do you think having NBA stars like that as well, that, that's going to raise the profile? I, I think so. It gives them you know, guys to cheer for, obviously guys that they, you know, from, from their country, you know, playing for their country, then you know, they get to recognise them in, in, in different settings. I think that'll, that's another way to, to attract them to, to globalising the game. Obviously one of the big things with American basketball is you play in high school and college and it's a very high level. Not so much in England, we haven't really got that system yet. But uh, I mean, in the high school, is it is it really competitive? Uh, it, it can be um, more more on the summer circuit. You know, high schools the, the players a little bit more spread out. But in the summer circuit, when you got teams uh, playing in different uh, states and, and big tournaments, it's it's very competitive. And are people like aware of you when you're at high school? Is there sort of yeah? There's a there's a ranking you? system that comes out. So guys, you know, uh, you know, number five in in the, in, the, in, the, in the country. You know, things like that. So that's how they get you know, recruitment. You know, and everything to college, you know, depends a lot of on you know, where you rank that in the country and how you compare to other other players. And I was reading that you actually had your jersey retired from your from I your did. school. Is that did. sort of really big honor? Uh, it was. It was. Now there's only two guys um, that've ever have gotten it. Uh, it was a big honor for me, and um, you know, it was uh, something I'm, I'm proud of. And just moving on to the Nets. Um, obviously, last season had a bit of a tough time. But, um, abysmal comes to <laughs> abysmal comes to so abysmal, yeah, that's, that's kind of a way to put it. But I mean, coming on to this year, you know, you've got new draft picks and new owner as well, is it? New owner, new coach. So is everything looking on the way up yeah, now? Yeah, we're, we're, it's all new for us. It's, uh, everything is new. We're in a new facility. Like I said, we have new ownership, new coaching staff. Uh, and pretty much, besides a couple of players, the whole team is new. So everything's pretty much new. We're trying to forget about last season and kind of move forward into a new era. I said with a whole new team, but you're still there. You know, you've been there for three, four years now. Are you going to be looked at as one of the more experienced guys to help I think, these youngsters? Yeah, I think, and I, I might be the oldest guy on the team. Really? I think, or one of the oldest guys on the team, which is kind of shocking. But yeah, we, we have a bunch of young guys, athletic guys, and um, I'm still looked at as, as one of the leaders. And uh, obviously, being the point guard, that's my job. In. And we've seen. I mean, a lot of places have actually said you might be pushing for the playoffs this season. Is that something you'd certainly like to do? Yeah, definitely. I think that's that's a goal of ours that's definitely realistic. And uh, I think, you know, if we stay healthy, we definitely have a good shot at it. And you got a slight touch of being in the All-Star game uh, two years I ago did, now. So I did. is that something you definitely want to experience again? That's the, definitely trying to get back to the level. Um, obviously, my first goal is to, to get the team back to the playoffs, but definitely get back to the All-Star level I was two years ago. And a lot of talk has been about Miami Heat with their recent signings and LeBron and getting Dwayne Wade re-signed again. Do you think, do you see them as the team to beat? Uh, I think they're, they're one of the teams, but I think you know, you can't knock off the Lakers until they've been dethroned. And they, they made some, some very big signings themselves, and I think they added to their, their pool of talent that they already had. So I think it'll be very interesting to see how, how both teams you know, go at the season. 
And finally, we hear you actually hold a Guinness World Record. I do. I am the fastest man from end to end with a basketball in my hand. And uh, what was your record? Do you know it? I don't, I don't remember the time. I think it was like three or four seconds, but uh, you know, it's, it's in the Guinness World Records. That's all that counts. Well, we've had that your same bolts actually in the country. Fastest man in the world. Is he? No. Well, fastest him, man him in the world. Um, you know, I probably had to stretch, but I think he hurt his back though. So I think you know, I would definitely, I would you know, invite him, but I think he he you know, gracefully declined. <laughs>